كيف حالك حبيبي؟ واتس واتس يور نيم؟ انا انا خالد خالد؟ خالد اوك فروم اثيوبيا؟ اثيوبيا اي انا رودني ايوه اور ابو ياسمين ايوه انا كندي كندا يا كيف حالك؟ الحمد لله طيبين؟ كويس كويس يا ما شاء الله هي رود هير ثانكس فور جوينينج مي اتس اي دونت نو وات ذا هيل ات از <laughs> All I know is it's Saturday, one week from last week. I'll, I'll put the date there. And uh, I'm at the same spot as last week, but I'm trying to get in from a different way. Last week I was at Ship Rock, which is maybe five kilometers that way. But last time I took a really iffy route in that uh, I possibly could have gotten stuck. And one of the roads was actually gated off after I entered, so I had to find another way out anyway i'm trying to find an easy way in where you don't really need four-wheel drive and this kind of looks like it so we'll just see what happens i'm intending to uh spend the night somewhere around where i was last week probably not at ship rock but at another one of the big rocks it's a nice looking area just right over here if you can see This is the kind of stuff that uh, is all over this area. Well, it's fenced off right here. There's no way through. And I just want to get to that road right there, because from that road, you can go all the way up there. And I just walked along the fence line here, and there's no way through. So it looks like I'll just have to do some backtracking. So I did find a way in. If you just notice down there, there's the start of all the rocks and stuff, but right where I came in, it's kind of featureless. It's kind of hard to tell where it is. So what I've done is I built a little cairn and I put some flagging tape on it. So I know that this is the way out. The way out is over there. Well, I found a uh, ship rock and I also found And, uh, and a lot easier access point right from the highway. And as the bee, as the crow flies, it's 4.3 kilometers that way. The thing is, even, new, even though this was marked on my GPS, <laughs> I still did a lot of circles to find this because there's so many friggin' rocks that kind of look the same. Even with the GPS, you're looking, is that it, is that it? And you're circling and stuff like that. But I did find a way that you uh, you can get off the highway, you can get here without a four-wheel drive. But now that I've seen it, I'm just looking for somewhere else to, uh, to camp tonight. There's quite a strong wind today coming uh, roughly out of the north. So really what I want to do is I want to camp against something blocking the wind from the north for the night. Yeah, there's quite a bit of sand blowing around at the moment. Well, I found a rock to explore. Ship Rock is maybe half a kilometer that way. It started to rain slightly. Uh, it, the wind has really picked up. So I'm just going to explore this rock and just decide what I'm going to do if I'm going to look for somewhere to stay tonight or if I'm just going to head off because if this continues it looks like uh, we're heading both for a rainstorm and a sandstorm which isn't particularly comfortable to spend the night in so we'll just play it by ear we'll see what happens but uh, I'll do a little bit of exploring
Well, despite the wind and the uh, the sand blowing around and the bitter rain, this is actually pretty nice. One of my Saudi subscribers, he watched last week's uh, Shiprock uh, episode and he told me he seems to think that people have been buried around here and that these, what I call a cairn is actually uh, where people have been buried. So whether that's true or not, I'm not quite sure. through the sand don't slow down <laughs> and don't stop I thought where camels were actually people. There's two groups. Looks like four ladies close and two guys way back there. Don't want to 
fall down there. Last week I was out here on a Saturday. Today is Friday, which is the Islamic Holy Day. So everybody is all is generally on a holiday on Friday. Perhaps Saturday, maybe not. So people tend to picnic more on the Friday. So I think that's why I'm seeing quite a lot more people. I've seen quite a few vehicles. And just over there, which I'll overlook in a while, there's a whole group of cars having some sort of picnic. Boy, this is an interesting looking rock. Maybe. It just looks a lot different from all the other rocks around here. There's a non four wheel drive car pulling up, so it just shows that you don't need four wheel drive to get in here. The highway is only a couple kilometers that way, and if you look beyond it, you can see standing water. I think it's just shallow, I guess it's a shallow lake. It looks a bit more extensive this week, maybe it's rained out here over the last week. I know it rained a lot in Riyadh and it just sprinkled in Jubail. There's a lot of cars at that one. Well, the skies are clearing up slightly. It's not drizzling anymore. It's not as windy, although it is windy. Actually, it still is sprinkling because I'm still getting a bit of rain on me. Yesterday, not yesterday, last week, it took me a couple hours from the highway to get to Ship Rock because I came in that way and it was fenced off and a lot of it was impassable even for well, me being alone on a four wheel drive. But now that I know how to get here the proper way, it's really easy. Just like 
maybe two kilometers that way on pretty good dirt roads. This is a nice spot out of the wind for a barbecue. Oh, this is the life. Lemon tang. Or the equivalent, I think this is Clark's. So I'm just chilling, just waiting for the coals to uh, get ready. It's probably going to take 30 to 45 minutes before I can start cooking. It's 3.15. I still haven't decided if I'm going to spend the night out here or not. Right where I am right now, I'm completely sheltered, but as soon as you get out of the lee of the rocks, the wind is pretty strong.
corn that's already been boiled. Pre-boiled chicken. I boiled the chicken for about 20 minutes and the corn is completely cooked so I'm just trying to heat it up. Almost ready. In case you're wondering, I always take my garbage home with me. Start with the corn. The corn here that we get in Saudi isn't as good as good old Ontario peaches and cream, but this isn't bad considering. Chicken is hot. <laughs> now this again is a really easy camping meal. Chicken's pretty well already cooked. You're just crisping it up. Corn's already cooked, you're just heating it up. Now for dessert, blueberries and milk, one of my usuals. Mm. <coughs> These are Driscoll's blueberries. I'm not sure if they come from Canada or the US, but they come from one of the two. Well, I'm all packed up. I've decided not to spend the night out here. 
threatening rain and it's still pretty windy and you know <laughs> I'll get back to Jubail, I'll get back to my cats in a couple hours. Anyway it's 4.30, it's going to be dark in about 30-35 uh, minutes and I would rather not be driving through unfamiliar desert when it's dark. It shouldn't take me long to get to the highway, I think there's a very direct route and actually when I get to the highway I'll film the uh, access point for you guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and until I see you again, take care now. So this is the uh, access point from the highway. And everything's over that away. I'll post the, uh, the GPS coordinate of, uh, of this point uh, in the description of this video. It's a lot easier than uh, when I came, last time I came, I think I accessed it from about four kilometers that away. Then I had to come back and uh, <laughs> this is a lot easier.